I'm sorry you got COVID on your birthday. I got the cutest little original piece of artwork. I might have messed up. Someone just trying to run me over. We are heading to the farmer's market. So much to look at. It's literally impossible to see everything. This is kind of everything. Let's out of town tonight. Let's hope I don't get kidnapped. In the last several weeks, I'm like, is this worth it? My audience is gone. Happy birthday. Hey, what's wrong with you? I was there. What? Cool. What's wrong with you? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. I feel great. I feel so good. So good, so hood. You look like you got the vid. It's a birthday glue. Oh, I'm sorry you got COVID on your birthday. Is this what it feels like to be old? My brain feels stabby. Stabby brain? Come on, doodle. Let's go pee pee. I'm vlogging. Good? I'm good at this. <laughs> That's better. And you took an Advil 30 minutes. I'm sad. I think my finger broke because I'm sweaty. Yeah, it's how long I was going to do that. What do you want to eat, sweetheart? Give me cookies, some chicken, and rice. Or do you want me to go get something? Dang it, Billy. <laughs> some grits and some sausage from Waffle House. Hello, hey, hey, Casey Ray here. I'm Casey Ray and I'm here. Lots of things have happened since we last spoke. Allow me to get you up to speed. First and foremost, I got this new vlogging camera. I'm still trying to decide if I enjoy the quality. There is quite a bit of focusing issues, so. Other than that, I turned 35 years old. How did I celebrate, you ask? Well, um, with COVID. That's how. <laughs> it is as terrible as they say. But yeah, Clint took very good care of me. And I'm feeling a lot better. But, uh, I'm still very much fatigued. Taking a lot of naps. And I'm not a napper. But, been lately, I am. What else? Oh, I did my hair in these terrible bowl braids. So... Oh, I wanted to show y'all my vase. The one that uh, I got in the thrifting haul the other day. Wait for it. You ready? I don't think you are. Nice. Yes. She is a beauty. I did that like scotch tape grid thing. I don't know if they use scotch tape, but but I did. Because that's, that's what I had. Really good $15 investment. I got these branches. Are they branches? Are they floofs? I got these floofs. Here's Doodle. Bruh. You don't want to be? Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. My apologies. So I have a couple of errands to run. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I did want to pick up a frame because I got the cutest little original piece of artwork from Etsy. It's from a super talented artist in the Ukraine. And it was just like my way of like supporting or whatever but also i just really love original artwork but yeah i need a frame for it and i still have to figure out where i'm gonna hang it but i figured we might pick up a frame while we're out also i haven't decided if i want to cut this skirt off or not i got this really cute denim skirt i think i might cut off the bottom just a little bit it's a little bit long for my short legs it's not the best look i'll be honest it's not super cute but i bought it and now i feel obligated to wear it got my shein belt on i can't tell if it's too long i think it probably is but also i don't want to like show my bits and bobbles when i bend over i might have messed up yeah is it too short? I feel like it might be too short. Bend over? Yeah, pretty short. Just don't bend over. Drop the knee. Okay. No, you put one knee down. Someone just trying to run me over. So that was fun. They told me I could go ahead and then when I went to go ahead, they was like, never mind, we're gonna go. TJ Maxx had no frames. They had like three to, to be exact. None of them were the size that I needed. So I did see a really cool arched rattan shelf that I'm debating on going back and getting because that would be cool to put towels on for the bathroom, but I'm still not convinced, so I'm thinking about it. But I'm gonna run over here to Goodwill just really quick to see if they have any frames. We are heading to the farmer's market to see our friends AJ and Ashley. 
We're gonna get some of their good coffee. Get some vegetables. Are we getting vegetables? I didn't think we were in the market. Market. We're not in the market yet. <laughs> I didn't think we were in the market for vegetables this morning. Anyway, our friends AJ and Ashley have the cutest little coffee stand at the market and um, they're actually trying to open a coffee shop downtown so we're excited about that. Thanks. My wife bakes chicken. She'll get it almost done and then take back out of the oven and pour, pour yeah, some sauce yeah. on it and put it back in there. How much is it? That's five dollars. That's your second cup of coffee? Yeah. Because what happened? I dropped it. AJ gave Clint a second cup of coffee because he dropped his in the floor. So that was sweet. Bless his heart. I have drank almost all of mine. I got the lavender vanilla cold brew and it was delicious. Tell them about tan lines. I don't know anything about tan lines. <laughs> Read the box. It says cotton candy grape, Granny Smith apple, and beach walks. What do beach walks taste like? Good. I bet they taste delicious. Good afternoon. Still trying to get used to this camera. Don't know if I love it yet. I wanted to take y'all to one of my... Hello. I'm just getting out of the house. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to the international market. Is it like a flea market? Yeah. Where they have antiques and stuff on the right? Right. What you looking for today? Just looking. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just trying to get out of the house. <laughs> Been stuck there for weeks. That's good for you. I actually really love these chairs. Ooh. Would you like a baby leg? Everyone could use a baby leg. I feel like McKenna from Exa McKenna would love these. She would say they're so sweet. I actually really like this chair. 149. It's not terrible for what it is. More creepy dolls. I don't know what it is about anything with a lid but i'm just kind of obsessed with lids i mean the whole the whole thing but specifically if it has a lid um okay but this is fabulous it's an original oil painting 395 nope 350 has two price tags i am kind of obsessed with that i don't know where i would put it and also i don't have the money but i'm living i'm living for this Look how cute the canopy is. I love the idea of an old timey canopy bed. Our ceilings are really short though, so we could never have one, but this one is 600. This one is really sweet. I like the colors in it. It's 39. I really like this one a lot. It's definitely a print. It's not original and the frame is pretty beat up, but it is 35. Okay, I'm kind of living for this sofa. You guys tell me if I'm crazy. Really pretty cream. I don't know. I kind of like it. Obviously, I don't have anywhere to put it. This one is $6.50. Okay, that's cool. It's like a little farmhouse. We got our farm maiden and gentleman. They're having a discussion about who's going to take care of all these cows. There's no cows. Never mind. $3.49. Wow. It is an original oil painting, so I get it. I'm, I'm intrigued. Lots of doodads. Let's, let's take a closer look. That's really pretty. 12. It's not bad. I don't know why, but I'm drawn to embroidery and like cross stitching and stuff. $5. We're still looking for a frame for my piece of art that I got. None of these look like the right size. I love that. Okay, who else really likes these bubble frames? These are really cool. I need to find a new word other than sweet and cool. These are nice. I, I like these. Um, okay, this, <laughs> this is kind of everything. This is a gothic style bed. Looks like twin size for $2.95. She's heavy. Yeah, it's definitely not my style, but it is making a statement, which I love. Okay, she is terrifying. This is called Crying Girl. I'm sorry, I, I didn't do it though, so. Here we have Jack Black. Not really, but kind of. What you got there, Jack? Tea kettle? Um, hello. I could totally get in touch with my Jewish roots. This has always been one of my favorite stores to come to, but there is so much to look at. It's literally impossible to see everything. And the prices, some are good, some are not so good, but it's all within the thrill of the hunt. 
treasure hunting. I mean, this is a curated store, so you're gonna pay more for that curation factor. Still, it's really cool to see all the things that these people have found and brought to one place. I spotted the watermelon. There's more fruit. I like that chair. 40 bucks. Cute little pillow. There has to be a wallet size frame here. Like, I refuse to believe out of this entire warehouse there's no wallet size frame anywhere. I'm actually really into this dresser style with the scallops. I think that's really, really pretty. $3.29. It's not terrible for this. I love this with the poppies. Is this like from the 70s, 60s, 70s maybe? Looks like everything is kind of listed separately. This would be 39. Oh my gosh. It is really cool though. That dresser back there, that's kind of cute too. I spotted this. This is 18. I told you guys, anything with a lid, I'm like drawn to it, but this is really cool. It's milk glass. I don't want to break it, hang on. Okay. Doing good, you? Sure, thank you. Did anybody else's papa have one of these? Because my papa did. He had it in his office and I thought it was the coolest thing. This one's 50. Yeah, this is bringing me back. What? It's a brass tiny rocking chair. Do I need a brass tiny rocking chair? No, I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> That's really pretty. Reverse bedspread. Oh, she thick. She doesn't feel like a bread spread. A bread spread? Okay. She doesn't feel like a bed spread. She feels kind of like a rug, if I'm being honest. She's not soft, but I like her colors. I spotted a vintage wedding gown, and then I saw this and noticed the colors, and I like these colors. But look at this. <gasps> Isn't she sweet? Oh my gosh. I should totally get this and then do like a styled shoot with it my videography business oh my gosh okay look at that canopy and there's two of them oh i love that for a little girl's room oh i love it okay wait this could work see i don't know though because is that even attached or is this whole thing just glass So let me tell you what the cashier did. I love her, she was so sweet. So I told her about the frame. I was like, I can't tell if like it's printed on the glass or if there's an actual mat just from looking at it. And she was like, well, let's find out. And she legitimately like peeled back the backing and looked for me and it was, it was printed. So it wasn't gonna work. Oh, and she put it back. It totally, it didn't mess anything up. So this is the only thing I got. This embroidered fruit piece of art i thought the frame was really nicely built it feels really high quality and then this is neat as well i don't know if it's like handmade or mass produced but it seems kind of old and it seems like heavy duty for 12 bucks so that's my haul you guys i look like a glazed donut let's ignore that so i was scrolling on facebook marketplace as one does and i found an antique bentwood chair i've been on the hunt for those ever since i saw caroline winkler I saw katie heron wearing army pants and flip-flops so i bought army pants and flip-flops had them and i've been borderline obsessed with them all the ones i've seen are like really really far away there's one not too far from me yes there's only one so i plan on just hunting them down as they come along, hopefully. It's out of town tonight, so let's hope I don't get kidnapped. I was texting you, I think I'm here. <laughs> I talked her down from 25 to 20 bucks, but I think that's a pretty good deal considering they're worth much more than that. I wanna talk about something that's kinda hard for me to admit or to talk about. So I've been posting on this channel again since my break for probably like two months or so, and I'm not really sure what I was expecting you know and I I never had like a huge audience but I had a really small like core group of people who I always heard from every video but I guess when you leave for two or three years or however long I was gone like it's inevitable to lose people like people lose interest 
they're probably not gonna stick around for years waiting on you to post again. I mean, I did say that I was quit, you know, and then I, I tried to come back and then I left again and then I tried to come back. And so it's like probably people got really frustrated and I'll be honest, like, within the last several weeks, I'm like, is this worth it? Like, my audience is gone. <laughs> but then I start, you know, filming and, and it's fun again. So, it's like, what am I really doing it for? Am I doing it for validation? Am I doing it for myself? Am I doing it as a hobby? Am I doing it to, you know, just have some sort of outlet? Which is initially what I was thinking. And honestly, I think it's all of those things. I think like deep down, no matter what people say, I, I think they want to feel, you know, validated. They want to feel like what they do matters and what they put out into the universe is, is accepted. And I'm not saying that I have zero views. I know that if 100 or 200 people were sitting in this car with me, as if that's possible, then that would be completely overwhelming and I would think oh my gosh like this this is amazing but when you you know when you go from thousands of views to less than a hundred um, it's like I don't know I posted in my community tab that I was thinking about possibly starting a separate channel um, completely starting over because I think that I've completely screwed up the algorithm on this one and like it's mad at me. I don't know if you guys even want to hear this or if you're even still watching. This is already a really long video but if you are still watching comment down below I'm in the car with you or something like that. I want you guys to know that the ones that do comment and the ones that have stuck around it really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate that you let me show up in the way that I can. So whether that means me being really over the top and goofy or getting way too personal <laughs> and real, um, I appreciate that you allow me to do that, whatever that is. Do I want Cracker Barrel? I kind of had meatloaf last night so so I don't really know where to put it <laughs> which is what Clint was saying was gonna happen so this is where it's gonna stay for now but eventually I do want to get at least four maybe six to put at our table yeah what do you think doodle what do you think so I'm gonna eat my sad dinner alone but if you made it this far I appreciate it more than you know. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. You're my favorites. Peace and love.